All right, what is up, guys? It is Friday, January 7th, and tonight the third kit from Negative G is launching, and it's for the Axial Capra. This is the CCV1. Uh, this is the first kit that I built. Um, you guys might have saw my unboxing video. Uh, I built this one uh, maybe about two weeks ago, and I haven't gotten to run it yet because there's been snow on the ground, pretty much. But uh, I did go ahead and get it built, and since the kit is launching tonight, I figure I'd do the tabletop video on the build. So real quick, let's go down the table and take a closer look at it. All right, guys, so we're just going to take a closer look at the CCV1 build. Uh, and I guess we'll start from the top down. Um, so this is a J Concepts creep body that I trimmed, heavily trimmed, so it would fit low. Uh, that's the side profile. And then you can see I had to put holes for the rear shock towers and the front shock towers. But yeah, it uh, fits nice and low. The uh, bottom of the body just kind of lines up with the skid. And then there, I had to modify the, uh, the body post a little bit just to get that body to fit. So first off, the body posts, they're both from the Traxxas TRX4 Sport Kit, but you would to do this, you would need two kits because I'm using both of the flat body posts. Like one of the rear body posts, um, it's a little taller and it's got like a gap in the middle, but I wanted to slam this body as low as possible, so these are both flat pieces. So yeah, if you wanna do this, uh, you'll have to get two of the body post kits. And then you would see that normally there's a spacer that goes in between the shocks. I had to get rid of that for obvious reasons and I just used some lock nuts. And um, still pretty stiff, because you know, you've got your rear body post mount here that adds stiffness to the, uh, to the chassis. And then the front, you've got the carbon motor mount, so the front is like super stiff. Anyway. You know, if you guys are familiar with Negative G, this'll, the build will look pretty familiar. They're all, all the kits are the same concept with differences to fit the different axles. And the main thing with the CCV1 is that if you look at the skid, the, the, uh, the Capra stock, the lower links meet in the middle of the skid on the Capra. And so initially that's how Jess had designed it because you know he's trying to use all stock parts. But with the way that the transfer case is offset, when we had the links in the middle, they actually hit the drive shafts. So he had to come up with a way to move the links out like in a more traditional way. And that's why this kit comes with the Revo rod ends uh, because the stock angled rod ends wouldn't work so yeah so he figured out how to do that and then he's going to include the revo rod ends for your kit so you use your stock links and then you'll see that these links are high clearance links and finding high clearance links for a capra is actually it's it's a lot harder than finding them for the traxxas so i actually got these from In The Works RC, and I was, I was kind of disappointed because by the description, I was ordering stock Capra links, but when I got them, they were too long. So I, I don't know if the intention there is to lengthen the stock Capra, but they don't tell you that in the description, so that was kind of irritating. But what I had to do if you go this route is I actually had to cut threads off of both sides of the rod ends. And then I had to trim, not the rod ends. I had to cut threads off of the rods themselves with a Dremel. And then I had to trim the rod ends. So you'll see that they're kind of short. Um, you know, you won't have to do that if you're using stock, but 
you know, unless somebody knows something I don't, if you order stock cap rollings from In The Works RC, they're not gonna be the right length. So um, that was a little bit of a headache, but I got it sorted out, got my high clearance links. Uh, but again, if you're using stock links, you won't have any issues. So if we go back up to the top, like I said, pretty, pretty standard negative G stuff. We've got our transfer case right there. Let's see if we get a good view of that. And then we've got our motor mount up front with our spur gear, included prop shaft. Now the the Capra, it was like it was a it was a bit of a challenge for Jess because the front axle, the the pumpkin is centered. And where like on the tracks is uh, the pumpkins over here. So since the drive shaft is coming from the center, um, he actually had to raise the motor up compared to the TC and the SE. So the motor sits a little bit higher in the Capra. Um, we thought it would be a big difference, but it, it turns out it's not really. Um, it, it raises the CG a little bit and like, uh, and that's, you know, that's per, checking the software and like Jess actually plotting the CG on the truck, which it's like right around here somewhere. It's a little higher in the Capra, but it's not too bad. And then for shocks, I'm using the draft techs. These are the draft tech Browns. The, you know, the stock Capra shocks work great, but you know, I like the draft techs they are just a little bit smoother. And then we've got our rear rubber band mount there for the the droop control and on the front i'm just wrapping it up over the shocks we're getting good light there there you go and the servo is an agfrc 12 volt direct powered servo so i've just got the wires running back and they tie directly into the uh, Micro Mamba X ESC. The motor is a team brewed Riot. Is it a Riot S or SS? So I think it's a Riot S, uh, 1600 KV. Uh, pretty big can. I think that's the 35 millimeter can. No, maybe 35 or 40 millimeter can. It's a, it's it's bigger. It's a little bit heavier than like a snub nose but it's got good startup speed. And then something I did for the servo wire, because the spur gear and the motor mount and everything are a little bit taller in the CC, the servo wires can be kind of close to the spur gear. So if we can see, let's see. If you can look at the wiring, hopefully that light is decent. If you look at the wiring, it's, zip tied to the shock tower and that just kind of keeps it out of the way of the spur gear so don't have to worry about it getting chewed up or anything like that so the capra is obviously has a axle mounted servo and just made this chassis mounted just to kind of keep in line with like the other negative g kits and then it provides the body mounting so he came up with the design for the pan hard on the axle, if we can get a good view of that. So, and that'll be included as well, of course. This is the comp rear bumper. Um, the kit comes with, you know, the bigger bumper stock. And yeah, that's about it for the build. Just kind of wanted to highlight the changes he had to make from the stock Capra for the skid to get that all to work right. All right, guys, let's go back up top. All right, guys, so that was just a, a closer look at the build. And again, this is the third kit specifically designed for Capra axles. And then how this kit was kind of born 
was because you know we started with the TCV one for the TRX four Sport, and over the summer, I traded an Element Enduro for an Axial Capra, like I used Axial Capra, gave it to Jess. He uh, he scanned the axles and made a chassis for it. You know, um, we wanted to do the Capra because Capra axles are so popular on LCG builds. And you can kind of see why, you know, when you look at like how much clearance you have in between the wheels. If we look at the front. So, so the, the axles on the Capra are wider. And uh, so you get a lot more clearance um, with the portals with Capra axles. And then kind of like the SCX-10 III, they have a ton of steering. So yeah, lots of steering, um, great clearance. Now, mind you, for Capra axles, because the axles are so wide, um, sometimes it's not a big deal. Sometimes people, like, they want the clearance of the Capra axles, but they want the same track width. So these rims, these wheels are actually offset. These are prototypes from negative G um, where you'll be able to adjust the, the hub spacing with um, hub adapters basically. And so right now with these wheels, uh, they're, you know, they're sucked in a little bit and they, you can see they're basically um, like swallowing up the portal. So yeah. Um, yeah, kind of kind of sad that it started snowing because I didn't get to, to drive this truck. You know, the the prototype did great with the aluminum rails. And so, you know, I'm sure this one's going to do great as well when I finally get a chance to drive it. Uh, something else I forgot to mention in the tabletop with the rear body post is it's actually flipped upside down. And you can see the rear body post is flush. It's basically flush with the rails and that was again just to get the creep body um, you know that much lower on the chassis it looks pretty cool fits well with the uh, the rear bumper um, this one ended up weighing with the new the new Lipos ends up weighing about four pounds and I think it was four pounds, 13 ounces, which is like, I think I want to say it's like right around 4.8 pounds. These Lipos, I haven't used yet either. I just got these on Amazon. They're Ovonics, but they're, I've been looking for this size because they're 4S or 3S 1000s, but they weigh 90 grams. So they're about 40, 40, 45 grams lighter than the Z3S 1500s that we normally use. So that's, you know, that's knocking off a little bit of sprung weight. And then I'm using these Beta FPV LiPo straps. So I had to get smaller straps uh, to fit the lower profile LiPo. And so I'll, I'll include both of those in the description. And these LiPos should give around half an hour to 45 minutes of runtime maybe. I just carry two of them. This thing, oh, <laughs> one thing I forgot to mention, um, something that's kind of unique about this kit. So since it's using the stock links, the Capra has equal length links front and back. And so since these kits are designed to work with the stock axles and stock links, um, the kit has long front links. Because typically, like if you look at the TRX-4 or the SCX-10-3, the front links are shorter and then the rear links are longer. And it's, you wouldn't think that would make a huge difference, but, and you'll see in, in one of the, I'll put this clip first. In the first clip, there's like this climb that we do where you have to get the front tires over a lip and then they kind of grab and pull the truck up. With the Capra having the longer front links, on those types of climbs, actually there's there's two clips I have like that. On those types of climbs where you have to break over and the front tires have to hook, 
the Capra, this build, the CCV1, it actually does it better because the longer links, they like allow the front tires to drop down farther over the ledge compared to the TCV1 or the SC. So it's, it's been pretty interesting testing this thing. But yeah, with these longer links, it does do those ledge type climbs better. It's, it's, it's been super interesting. Haven't really found a doubt that there's another climb that we do where it's a hindrance, but it's, it's only that one climb where you have to go up and then you have to kind of turn left and hook and the Capra, the CCV1, it, when it gets to the top, it like unloads compared to the SC or the TC, but that's the only kind of climb where like the longer front links are a hindrance. Other than that, normally they're, they're basically an advantage. So that's, that's something interesting that's different about the CCV1 is the longer front links. I can't believe I almost forgot to mention that. Other than that, between the TC, SC, and CC, they're all pretty similar. Uh, you know, the SE and the CC have more steering than the Traxxas, and then the Capra has the longer front links, again, so it can, like, throw the front wheels over the ledge and hook on. Um, and again, you'll see that in the clips. But anyway, guys, that's uh, the tabletop look, and now I'm going to play some clips from when I was running the prototype. And then um, just remember they're launching at 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time today, Friday the 7th. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.